Welcome to the adventure on Pumlet on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest who has some great music. I mean, what a phenomenal composer, musician, just all-around great artist. So let's welcome to the show, Gerald Peter. How are you? Hi, man. Thank you very much for a nice introduction. Yeah, I'm doing great. Hi. Oh, my pleasure. I was listening to your newest music and man, it's, it's pretty incredible. And, you know, just I, what I love about it is it, in, it has an influence of multiple different genres. And, and I kind of dig that because nowadays, you know, a lot of artists are boxed into a genre and they all kind of sound the same unless they do what you did and blend influences from different areas and put them into one song or one bit of music that makes it unique yeah thank you very much yeah i always have been that way with my music projects i couldn't just stick to one genre because yeah i'm listening to so many different genres of music and i think it reflects also in the type of emotion you want to express and so different genres express different emotions i guess Absolutely. And they, yeah. they certainly do. And music is all about emotion, isn't it? You know, like I, I remember when I was taking a, a music class in college, they were telling me like the key to writing a successful song is to, to appeal to all three types of people. Mm. But there's three types of people, visual, auditory and kinesthetic. And if you appeal to all three within one song, that's going to be a big song. And I feel that's what you're accomplishing here. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, this this project was really like, this is like really expressing my ideas I got spontaneously on the piano, basically. Yeah, that's it's all, that's the way it started. Just me sitting down on the piano and improvising and what came to my mind. And then, yeah, I was collecting many, many ideas over years, and then I was working out the ideas and and did all the sound design and arrangement on top of that piano compositions or improvisations, basically. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what, you know, what came to you and what, what uh, you know, what created creativity flow to bring about this new album incremental changes part two the the creative flow yeah basically basically it all starts for me on the piano because piano is like my instruments my my home where i i just sit down and can express certain moods and emotions and feelings and through melodies and rhythms i'm I'm coming up in my mind and yeah, I'm just playing around with them. And I always when I improvise, I have my I have my voice memo recorder on. So if I like an idea, I can I can get back to that and work it out through sound design or through different synth sounds I, I'm I like to use. And then I build it from based on this piano improvisations, everything basically, yeah. Very nice. And so what what really started this all for you? Like when when did you, you know, really get into music to the point that it made you want to be a composer? 
Well, I, I started composing music when I was 14 years old, I think, so already more than 20 years ago. I think I always had a, a talent for that, and I enjoyed the process of being creative with music. And yeah, it's, it started with, with very easy songs, and, but I got very fast into the progressive genre. I was, in my teenager years, I was listening to a lot of Dream Theater and Liquid Tension Experiment. This was like my musical world at this time. And, and later on, I got curious about other musical styles as well, especially jazz and, and also soundtrack music. And yeah, in my in my own creative projects, I in my own creative projects I try to incorporate everything which inspires me basically. And yeah, I think that's what I did with this album. I, there are so many influences there, but every influence stems from an inspiration I got uh, during my life from another art, artist, I guess. Absolutely, I love it. And so, do you think? I, I've been saying all along that, you know, if you're going to take one positive out of COVID, it's the fact that we're going to probably get some of the best music we ever had because a lot of <laughs> artists were, a lot of artists were, you know, be able to be more creative than usual because, you know, we, we have been in such a fast paced world that you don't really have a chance as an artist to sit down and really explore and create the way you would want to. And I think COVID kind of facilitated forcing you to be able to sit down and take your time and create music that really is able to be what you really want and you can really explore. Do you feel that was the case with this album? Well, with this album, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, maybe, it maybe worked this way for other musicians. For me, COVID was a really inspiration killer. So I did not write any new music during COVID. All the music I've written for this album, I already composed before COVID, actually. Yeah. Ah, yeah. you know what? That, that makes sense, too, because I've heard that side of it, too. There's like two sides of it, of how artists react to COVID. So I'm glad you said that, because it is true. It, you know, some of what went on just makes it really hard to get into the mindset that you need to create great music so there's exactly. another point of view for me it was really difficult actually to be creative in this time yeah for me i just waited to release the album when when the whole covid stress was over so actually the album was already done for a long period of time and i just waited for a good time to release it and i thought this year in the middle of the year would be a good time to release it because yeah, COVID wasn't not in a news line every day anymore. And so, yeah, I also did a, a release concert in Vienna, which was very nice. And yeah. That's great. And I got to tell you, you know, a lot of people nowadays are on this track, track, track mentality where they just, you know, they hear a song for a few seconds and move on. I think they definitely need to not do that with this album because I, I think the whole album tells a story from start to finish. And speaking of the finish, the, the finale is definitely amazing. So, but I think you need Perfect. the foundation of the rest of the album before you listen to the finale. Exactly. Uh, I really love concept albums. And yeah, this is also in a concept album in its own way, because as you say, it tells a story. And there's, yeah, you need to prepare for the finale, as you said, and, and those are recurring themes and melodies through, through the piece. I approached it like a symphony, basically, but for, yeah, keyboards. <laughs> yes, there you go. I love it. So tell everybody how they can reach out to you on your website, on social media, anywhere you want to connect with you and how they can check out your music, get the new album, Get and just check everything out that you have to offer. Yeah, so my music is on all digital music platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and and the other all the other famous ones. And it's also on Bandcamp. It's also on the Austrian Musical Store where you can actually order the physical CD. And you can also check out my website GeraldBeaterMusic.com where you find more information about me and all the other projects I'm doing as well. Nice. Is there anything else you want to let the listeners know that we haven't covered yet that they should know about you and your music and your projects? 
I, I just want to thank everyone, including you, to take the time to actually listen and, and check out the album. Because as you said, it's not it's not a music you get within a, a one minute. You need to really sit down and listen through the whole thing. And yeah, I thank everyone who takes the time and really takes it serious and take a listen for the whole thing. I agree. It, it, it de definitely takes you to another place where we can escape all the crap that's going on in the world and really just <laughs> go on a, a, a journey and yeah. lose ourselves in the music. Exactly. And that's exactly what I want to achieve. And if I achieve that with you, then yeah, it makes me glad, really. Yeah. So. Well, you you did it for me, and I know you'll do it for our listeners. Thank you for being such a great composer and giving this to us, and thank you for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for the interview and for taking your time and interest in my music. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.